My name is Janita Revhuis, and I'm an epidemiologist at the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia. I will be talking about our BMJ manuscript titled Specific SSRIs and Birth Defects, Bayesian Analysis to Interpret New Data in the Context of Previous Reports. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, are medications used to treat depression and other mental health disorders. Previous studies offer conflicting evidence about the potential links between the use of SSRIs during pregnancy and specific birth defects. For this CDC-funded study, we reassessed these previously reported links by updating the prior evidence based on more recent data. Our study looked at women who took one of five SSRIs during pregnancy, pregnancies that occurred between 1997 and 2009 in the United States. We compared women who took an SSRI and had a baby with a birth defect with women taking the same SSRI whose live-born babies did not have a birth defect. Our results reflect not only our data, but also incorporate data from independent studies on the published risk estimates for women taking SSRIs to have a baby with each type of birth defect. Among those women taking SSRIs whose babies did not have a birth defect, about 40% reported use of the SSRI sertraline. We did not observe any of the reported links between the use of sertraline and birth defects, which can be reassuring for women who use this SSRI. However, our study did find that some birth defects appear to occur about two or three times more frequently among babies born to mothers who took either fluoxetine or paroxetine early in pregnancy. Previous studies reported links between fluoxetine use and four types of birth defects. Our study confirmed two of these links. Fluoxetine appeared to be linked with heart defects that have obstruction of the right ventricular outflow tract and with craniosynostosis. Our study also confirmed five out of seven previous links between paroxetine use and certain birth defects. Paroxetine use appeared to be linked to anencephaly, atrial septal defects, heart defects that have obstruction of the right ventricular outflow tract, gastroschisis, and omphalocele. Previous studies had shown links between use of citalopram and acetalopram and certain birth defects. Our study did not definitively confirm any of those findings. However, these two SSRIs were the least commonly used in this U.S. population. Our study had some important strengths. We used a Bayesian analysis, which allowed us to combine results from the published literature with over 12 years of data from the National Birth Defects Prevention Study. The National Birth Defects Prevention Study is one of the largest studies aimed at understanding factors that increase the risk for major birth defects in the United States. The results of our analyses took into account the mother's race ethnicity and level of education, as well as whether she smoked early in pregnancy or was obese prior to pregnancy, since these factors can also affect the risk for certain birth defects. The analysis included 17,952 mothers of infants with birth defects and 9,857 mothers of infants without major birth defects, identified through birth certificates or birth hospitals in 10 national birth defects prevention study centers in the United States. A major advantage of this analysis over some previous reports is the ability to look at each individual SSRI in relation to each type of birth defect. While the data on the use of SSRIs during pregnancy are self-reported, they do represent reported use of medication and not just filling the prescription. About 30% of mothers stop taking SSRIs during pregnancy. Studies that rely on records of filled prescriptions might incorrectly consider women exposed even if they stopped using or never used the medication that was prescribed. Our analysis combined a large population-based case-controlled dataset with prior findings based on the literature and allowed us to demonstrate and refine linkages between maternal fluoxetine or paroxetine use during pregnancy and certain birth defects. However, it is important to keep in mind that the linkages might have other explanations, such as underlying diseases among women who use SSRIs or other unmeasured factors. It is important to note 
that the increase in the absolute risks for birth defects among women who take these SSRIs is small. For example, the absolute risk for heart defects with obstruction of the right ventricular outflow tract in the children of women who are treated with paroxetine early in pregnancy would increase from 10 per 10,000 to about 24 per 10,000. Continued scrutiny of the links between SSRIs and birth defects is warranted. Additional studies of specific SSRI treatments during pregnancy and birth defects are needed to enable women and their healthcare providers to make better informed decisions regarding treatment. In the meantime, the current analysis can help guide healthcare providers and women to the safest treatment options for early pregnancy. Healthcare providers and their patients can use the information in this study to help minimize the risk of major birth defects while providing adequate treatment for depression and other mental health disorders. Thank you.